But <laughs> I was getting ready to go to bed and I'm sitting there and I'm debating, am I going to do these push-ups? Am I, am I going to do these sit-ups? Because I need to get right. And so like every day, right, it is a battle. So I came in the bathroom. I got my little workout shirt on. Immediately, I looked at myself and I started laughing because as you can see, I got some fat, I got some chubbiness going on. Now, a, a while ago, uh, I used to ask the doctor, when am I going to gain weight? When am I going to gain weight? And <laughs> he said, wait till you get 30, son. And so as soon as I got 30, you know, I stopped doing PT with the military and I looked down one day and I couldn't even see my shoes anymore. I mean, my stomach was just out there. And so I was looking at myself in disgust in the mirror. I said, man, you really need to do those push-ups. You really need to do those sit-ups. Now check this out. I got this shirt on. It's tight. You know, it's a workout shirt. And it kind of looks, you know, not so bad. But if I take this shirt off, you can see some stuff fall all over the place, right? There's going to be some rolls here, some rolls here, some rolls there. And this is what the Lord gave me. A lot of us, we go to church and we put on the tight shirt and it's like we're trying to give the appearance that we got everything under control. I got my marriage under control. I got my mind under control. But the reality is God sees what's really going on. You try to tighten it up. You try to make it look right when you go to church and you try to act like you're doing the right things. You give the appearance like, right? You've been doing the right thing. But the Lord knows you've been eating that pizza You've been eating that pizza all by yourself. <laughs> the Lord knows your flaws. He knows what you've been indulging in. He knows how you've been treating your spouse. He knows if you've been praying. He knows if you only worship on Sunday. He knows if you've been neglecting your relationship with him. He knows like you can fool everybody else and try to come and look like you're in shape. But he knows you've been taking that Pepsi to the head. <laughs> Oh uh, man, so the stuff that you know to do that is right, that's going to feed your spirit man, we don't do, and we're feeding that carnal man, that flesh. And so because of our pride, we put on that, that tight shirt, right? And we go to church, we put on the suit, we put on the pretty dress, and we say, praise the Lord, brother. Oh, God is just so good. He's so great. I'm so blessed, right? Because we want to keep up the appearances, but the reality Man, look at the outward appearance. God, he looks at the heart. And I know this is a funny little message, but this is how the Lord speaks to me. I literally was like, all right, I'm about to you maybe hit the little hotel gym, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups. And it was just like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. I just preach. I just ate this pizza. I want to lay down. A lot of us were unwilling to look at the reality of what it really is and say, you know what? Instead of me keep trying to put up appearances, let me hit these spiritual sit-ups. Let me hit these spiritual push-ups so I can actually really tighten up, really have some spiritual muscles instead of just trying to fake the funk. Instead of just going to church and saying, amen, and, and praise the Lord, and, and singing, and saying the right stuff at the right time to look like I'm super spiritual, to look like I got it all together. Instead of doing that, why not actually get it together? Why not actually get naked, right? And, and by, by what I uh, mean by that is like, be real, be exposed. Say, you know what, Lord? Here it is. You already know what I got going on right here. You already see it. I can't fool you. I can't hide, hide it from you. I might be able to hide it from men, but because you know, let me just be honest. Let me just admit it. Let me stop lying to myself and denying it and get the truth. The truth will set you free. Let me go to another brother and say, hey, brother, I know it looks, you know what I'm saying, like I got everything going on, but check this out. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Let me show you my flaws. Let me show you where I'm falling short. Uh, confess your faults one to another, and then iron sharpens iron, and let's chisel those things off and actually get right, actually get healthy, actually get our minds right, actually get our marriages, our relationships right our relationship with God, right, instead of just faking the funk. Kind of like I'm kind of trying to suck in this, this gut a little bit and I'm about to, I'm about to pass out. <laughs> but that's the reality. You can only suck it in so long and fake it for so long 
before the reality is going to come out. All right. What's in the darkness is going to come to the light. Love you guys. You guys be blessed. Be encouraged. Have a wonderful evening. I'm going to bed.